One of the most pressing concerns now is the humanitarian situation in Ukraine. The fighting there has severely disrupted supply chains and people are finding it difficult to find food. So here in Crimea, uh, efforts are being made to supply people who desperately need that food with various canned foods as well as sugar, salt, buckwheat, the essentials to see them through the worst of the fighting. In all, more than 100 tons of desperately needed food, the delivery of which has fallen on Russia's emergency services. At stake are not only people's lives, but the goodwill of the population. The city of Melitopol, population 100,000. It was liberated by Russian troops largely without a fight. It is deemed somewhat safe and is the first destination for these humanitarian aid trucks out of Crimea. Russia's mission here is to liberate, not occupy, as stated by Putin himself. Within hours of delivery, thousands across the city headed for distribution points. As we spoke to more and more people, our understanding of what happened here over the last eight years grew clearer. A violent ideological purge, a reign of terror by the nationalists and neo-Nazis, where any ideology but theirs, any positive opinion of Russia, was brutally suppressed. Murders, kidnappings, beatings and threats abounded. Здесь в город, да, приезжают, но они же собираются как? Их поштучно не видно, а их только видно, когда они собираются. Ну, сейчас уже получше. В первые дни были очень много разгромов, мародеры все крали вокруг, все выносили. В общем, по вечерам тоже стреляли в них. В общем, сумасшествие полное было. While there wasn't all that much fighting here in Melitopol, that isn't to say there wasn't any. This Ukrainian T-64 reportedly tank was destroyed uh, when it was caught by Russian units entering the city. It, along with a truck and apparently an armored personnel carrier, which were evidently blasted apart. The battle for Melitopol was brief and tame in comparison to other cities. The military's job here is done. The next phase isn't up to troops. It is prosecutors and investigators working to identify and arrest nationalists and neo-Nazis still in the city. Those complicit in horrific crimes not only in the Donbass, but all over Ukraine. And as they work, we will learn the true scale of radical right-wing terror that gripped Ukraine for years.